how the pandemic affected the Catholic religion and the rest of the world. The first negative impact of the pandemic of Catholics was to put all trust in government recommendations and put aside faith in God, prayer, and hope. Many Catholics in desperation eagerly sought vaccination without analyzing the origin of certain drugs that were manufactured using cell lines from aborted fetuses. Catholic faith and morals were put aside. Even the Vatican issued excuses announcing that it was morally acceptable to inoculate with products from cell lines whose origin included aborted fetuses. The pandemic was never taken as a punishment from God. Only a low percentage of priests saw it that way and asked in prayers with the community that God would take away this curse. Intellectualism has led man to forget God and to find logical explanations in everything, putting aside the will of God. Everything that happens in the world will always have an explanation for the intellectual. According to him, there is no need to think about God's will. God is no longer necessary for humanity. Following the official recommendations of governments, most of the world's bishops never spoke out against official governmental intrusion in religious affairs. On the contrary, they listen more to them than to their religious duty. They forgot to claim freedom of expression for Catholic worship. They created ordinances, such as the mask on the altar and the use of detergents next to the altar to wash the hands of the priest. They ordered them not to say the phrase, body of Christ, when offering Holy Communion individually. Many priests demonstrated their little faith by wearing masks on the altar. The fear that they felt was more prevalent than the fact of bringing in the consecration the Lord truly present in the consecrated bread, demonstrating in this way that they did not believe in the God who was present on the altar because they fear to be contaminated. For this reason, it was forbidden in many parts of the world to receive communion on the path, and even to receive it on one's knees. They indoctrinated the people to lose the ancient reverence for the Lord truly present in the consecrated host. The religious leaders followed like blind lambs the orders of the governments, and to prove it, they closed many churches for a time, thus offending God by not offering daily with the community the perpetual sacrifice of the Holy Mass. They offended God by denying communion in the mouth to many true Catholics. This says the Lord for interrupting their worship. Exodus 9, verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, Go before Pharaoh and say to him, This says the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, Let my people go out to worship me. If you refuse to let them go out and continue to hold them back by force, the divine power will harm the livestock in your fields horses, donkeys, camels, cattle, and sheep. There will be a terrible pandemic. There has already come to us at this time a good chastisement from God, a terrible pandemic. Although you look at it that way, many Catholics expect a great warning announced in heavenly apparitions or messages but they are blind to the warning we have had. So the Church 
substituted the true mass with the virtual mass, by which the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist was taken away and the faithful were denied to receive the Lord, which is the true purpose of the Holy Mass. Catholics were taught that the virtual Mass has a great value, which is not true. For nothing can replace the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist and the reverence we must give it in community. This is why it is called Holy Communion, communion of the people with God. Many Catholics lost the knowledge of the guilt of sin, for although they wanted to go to confession, they were unable to do so. The Catholic Holy Mass suffered great loss during the pandemic and still exhibits souls that will never heal. Many faithful Catholics lost the reverence that is given to the Lord by receiving Him kneeling and in the mouth, on the tongue, with all certainty that they will not change. Many out of laziness avoid going to Holy Mass and seek it virtually. The world never understood the pandemic as an act of God, who in His Holy Word threatens His pestilence. Leviticus 26, verse 25. I will bring upon you the sword that will avenge the covenant. You shall then take refuge in your cities, but I will send the pestilence against you, and you shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. Now, turning to the secular world, the pandemic caused some positive effects as well as some negative effects. Many personal relationships were improved because people were locked up. Many companies allowed to work online, thus giving people more time for personal activities, and employers learned to trust their employees. People were then able to make better use of their free time. However, Many people sought refuge in fear and avoided contact, even with family members, not visiting them for fear of contagion. On the bright side, many people became more aware of their overall health. During the pandemic, there was a technological boom that was reflected in new applications for online use as well as the ease of working and studying from home and visiting the doctor online. Online shopping intensified thanks to new technologies. There was an improvement in communications at all levels. Many benefited from not having to commute to work and thus were able to enjoy more time to rest. The most interesting part of the pandemic was that, was that it taught us to live slowly. Several negative things also happened. The most dramatic was the lockdowns, the loss of personal freedom moved from one place to another, the difficulty to travel, the mandatory use of face masks, the social distancing, the shortage products, and others. Abuse of authority was felt dominating the people in many countries. Many people became paranoid about the virus and were afraid to leave their homes. The economic situation was difficult for many, although, as always, the rich were able to become richer and the poor poorer. As a result of the pandemic, an abuse in the cost of services and products arose, and the cost of living skyrocketed, reported globally at around 20%. This is not the last pandemic, nor the last punishment that humanity suffers. 
or terrible things are expected according to the prophecies. Plagues, famines, climatic scourges, earthquakes, and much more. Unless we put more faith in God, we will have to face all these adversities that come from the will of God. We live in an apocalyptic age where we must pray constantly, for the end times are near. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.